We're going full on Raiders here. Hey guys, so this is my review for Supernatural episode 14 of season 11 and wow, we are just getting so many hits in a row this season. Every time it just keeps on bringing up something different and something amazing and something entertaining. Tonight's episode was on a submarine. I can't believe that we went there with Supernatural. We actually went on to a submarine. We went to World War II. We've kind of dipped in World War II before, but we went straight into World War II with this episode in which they are trying to find a device that may help them take on the darkness called the Hand of God. The brothers find this out by going through the Men of Letters records and they found out that there was a device that was found by a spy who was trying to bring it back to the Allied forces in America, but the sub was sunk. So their plan is get onto the submarine just before it sinks, snap the hand of God, and then come back. Problem is, how do they get there? They need Castiel, and Castiel is actually Lucifer, and Lucifer is playing Angry Birds, or at least that's what it sounds like in hell, while keeping Crowley as his little doggy. That was hilarious. So he comes over to the brother's house with the intention to send Dean back, even though he's kind of being very sly about how he's able to send them back. This scene is one of the best scenes in the episode. It's Castiel, slash Lucifer, looking at the two brothers as they're discussing who's gonna go. Dean wants to go by himself because he says, if, if, if I fail, Sam, you can stay here. And Castiel, they just cut to his face ever so slightly, every, every so often in the conversation, and you see him conniving. You see Lucifer planning out something in this. And the whole time, I'm just thinking, as much as I want Dean to go back and hang out with some guys on a submarine, what the hell is Lucifer going to do? Whoa. So I was tense for a completely different reason. I had two different stories that were going on at the exact same time with Dean on the submarine when he gets there and then Lucifer when he comes back because he can't get on the submarine because there's a ward. So there's some funny dialogue on the submarine. Eventually Dean finds out what the hand of God is, which is a piece of the covenant, which ergo the line, we're going full on Raiders, which is really funny. There's two very, very distinct things that I liked about this episode. One was the attention to detail of the submarine, not just how it looked, but how everyone acted. It was as though the director, John Bodum, wanted to really try and do his own version of Das Boot in less than 20 minutes, and he did a pretty good job. I had a very realistic sense of being on a submarine from this episode, and I never thought I'd ever say that from freaking Supernatural. Even the CG of the boats and everything, that actually looked decent for this television show. And then, Lucifer just doesn't care anymore. He gives up. He shows Sam who he really is, and he almost kills him. But Castiel stops him, and he is able to tell Sam why he did it, and then Lucifer comes back. That was sweet. When Lucifer's just like, you know what, you guys are insufferable. And trying to be your friend, having this angel constipation face all the time, ah, I can't do it. That was also hilarious, but also terrifying at the same time. And as I said, the tension in this episode was insane. It was so good. This is one of the best episodes of the season, mainly because I didn't expect it to be that good. It was fantastic. The episode had a great story, great humor, and tension, which is what I miss. I was feeling the same amount of tension, not entirely, but similar amount of tension to when Lucifer was teased and when they went to talk to him and he locked Sam in the cage with him on the pre the season mid-season break. Not only did we get a tease of something that could have maybe taken on Amara, but the problem is the French spy used the hand of God to take up the ship upstairs with the super Nazi on it, and so that's a dead end. Once again, we still don't know how they're going to take on Amara, but now they are afraid because now Lucifer knows where their spot is. Technically, he did before, but now he doesn't even have to care. He says, I'm going to kill you guys, and then I'm going to kill the dark. And probably the most damning thing is at the end of the episode, the brothers are sitting on a pier, which I'm pretty sure was the Albion Ferry Pier. I may be wrong. They're sitting there, and they've come to the realization, one, they were just a witness to death, which was very Doctor Who-like, and two, they lost their only ally left. Castiel was basically their only ally left, and now he's gone, or he's trapped, so they have to try and save him. So now the brothers have way more on their shoulders than they ever would could have thought. So, the least to say, they're definitely in for a wild ride. The least to say, this episode gets a 7 out of 7. It was fantastic, it was great, 
and I very much enjoyed it. If you guys didn't catch this episode, watch it. I still can't believe that one of the best episodes ever of Supernatural of this season involves a submarine. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Oh, one last thing before I go. I wanted to talk about this. I don't think I'm going to do this all the time, but I definitely wanted to just give a little bit of credit to this person. Uh, I want to give the comment of the week to Eugene Rawls. Honestly, Eugene, I'm happy that you were watching my videos. I'm very thankful for you to be watching them and commenting on them. And I very much like how broken your English is. For the Ghostbusters one, you had, Hey Eugene, I love Ghostbusters. I want period to Supernatural period today and see next up a good work. Thank you. Honestly, man, I, I, I'm not trying to be mean here. I think this is hilarious because every single time it's always fun to try and figure out what you're trying to say. And you know what's great? So thank you Eugene for being my commenter of the week and thank you for uh, watching my videos. And same to everyone else, thank you all for commenting, liking, and discussing. I always like hearing what you guys say about Supernatural episodes. So how many do we have left? We have about eight episodes left, so I'm very, very excited to see what you guys say in the next few episodes. So until then, I'll see you guys later.